Today, I'm going to be doing a review of the Pinon Coffee House. The New Mexico Pinon Coffee Company was established about 20 years ago as a small, local company out of the back of a pickup truck. Today, you can find their signature Pinon Coffee in stores nationwide. This past March, they opened the Pinon Coffee House, which features their classic coffee and different drinks such as lattes and freezes. In an interview with the manager, she explained a little bit about the process of how the Pinon Coffee is made. Um, we get the coffee beans from a combination of three different countries. Right now we're getting it from Honduras, Brazil, and Mexico, and we roast those together. And then after the roasting process is complete, whether it's for a blonde or a medium roast, we add the pinon flavors, kind of a syrup um, that we add to the coffee beans after they're roasted, and then we add actual pinons in with the coffee when we grind it as well. When you first enter the coffee house, you are greeted by the warm smiles of the baristas, along with lots of options for seating. On the right hand side, there is a shelf which has bags of their different flavors of coffee beans which you can purchase in the store to take home with you. Inside, it smells like the signature Pinon coffee, and when you reach the counter, they have a tip jar, which has a weekly competition. You can vote for the side you want to win by putting your change or bills into that side. I think that this is a cool and fun addition to the coffee house. The menu offers many different options for coffee and drinks. You can order a variety of roasts and flavors from their brewed coffee selections, or if you enjoy froofy coffee drinks like me, there are options for a variety of lattes or freezes. They even offer coffee ice cubes to help prevent the coffee from being watered down with regular ice. For people who might not be coffee drinkers, there are options like the London Fog, which is an Earl Grey tea latte. They also offer flavored lemonade and hot chocolate. If you're feeling a bit hungry, there are also options for danishes, paninis, and burritos. Personally, my favorite drink is the apple empanada freeze, which has the coffee and apple flavor blended together with coffee ice and a caramel drizzle with whipped cream on top. The employees and the customers I interviewed had their own personal favorites from the menu as well. My favorite drink is our seasonal flavor right now. It's a maple walnut and it's to die for. It's the iced biscuit Cheeto espresso latte with coffee ice cube. My favorite one is the apple and banana. It's a uh, macchiato. Americano with Adobe warnings. Uh, the biscuit Cheeto latte. I like a large iced black coffee with coffee ice. Even though I have my favorites, I have tried many different drinks and have enjoyed every one of them. In my interviews that I conducted, I asked the customers to rate the drinks on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being awful and 10 being awesome. Personally, I would give all the drinks I have tried on the menu a 10 because I have yet to try a drink from the menu I did not like. However, I am only one opinion, so you can hear the verdict from the other customers as well. Can you, on a scale from 1 to 10, rate the drinks that you've had here? Easily a 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to say probably a 9. Definitely a 10. Oh, I'd say like a 7. Probably an 8. Probably maybe an 8. Uh, 15. Another area that I think is an important part of a good food or drink establishment is the service. I don't like to go into a coffee house or a restaurant where I feel like I'm a burden being there. I like to feel welcomed. And the Pinion Coffee House does just that. On the same 1 to 10 scale I use for the drinks, I would also give the Pinion Coffee House a 10 for service. But... You don't just have to take my word for it. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being awful and 10 being awesome, rate the service here? Uh, I would say a 10. Probably a 10. I think I'd give it a 10. 10. 10. I'd probably rate the service like a 10. Uh, can I do 11? I would say awesome. The only downside about this coffee house is really its location. There's only one Pinon coffee house that has been open to date, and it's located all the way over on Alameda and Jefferson. For someone who lives in the Northeast, that is quite a drive for a cup of coffee. I typically only go over there before I have work just because I happen to be in the area. Other than the unfortunate distant placement of the coffee house, overall with the fantastic service and the superb coffee and drink selections, I would recommend Pinon Coffee House as a great place to get a drink and relax in the atmosphere any time of year, and the other customers would agree. Would you recommend this coffee house to your friends? Absolutely. Most definitely. All right. Absolutely. I would recommend this coffee house to all my friends. Oh, absolutely. It's way better than Starbucks. 